New business number four, consideration of a resolution adopting a solid waste um, agreement with the city of Russellville uh, to apply for the next five years, etc. I do know that there are some people here who want to speak in regard to this uh, in several respects. So uh, I would like to have a motion that we get to that point, please. Motion to adopt, Your Honor. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, any, any discussion before the vote? Mr. Moore, uh, if you don't mind, we did make some changes to this contract over the original contract. Would you, would you care to tell us just briefly what they are? Uh, the main changes that were made uh, from the last contract, five-year term, to be incorporated into uh, to what we hope will be the next five-year term would include uh, the, whoever gets the new contract would be required to have a, a manned phone locally. Uh, now there, there is a manned phone, but it also rolls to a call center in Texas, and we want to move away from that and have a manned phone for the citizens to be able to contact someone local here. It just makes better sense for all of us. And I think it's a, a much better service for the citizens who, when they have problems. Uh, the only other big major change to the contract was the incorporation of the city corporation contract, which originally was a separate contract. Uh, Attorney Smith has uh, decided that, that would, we would be best served by pulling that contract into this contract so it would be a, a three-party agreement instead of having two separate contracts. Those are the main changes that we've, we've decided on. Okay. Thank you. I, I do know that some other people want to speak in regard to this. Uh, since this last item that was mentioned, uh, I know Mr. Steve Mallett had requested to speak in regard to that with, with City Corp. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, members of the Council, uh, my staff and I, along with our legal counsel, have looked at the contract, and uh, it, it is a little bit different, obviously, than how we've been operating, where we've had a, a separate contract with the city uh, outside of the contract that you've had with the, the waste, uh, waste management. Uh, we're okay with doing that, uh, but I think there's some things in here that we would like a little bit more time to comment on. We've looked at it over the last couple of days. I think we received it on Tuesday. Uh, there's a few things that don't really align with the way things, we're doing things now. Uh, we're going to change, we probably need to address that. I, you know, I don't want to come out of this with some programming changes that need to be made uh, for the sake of making change. Uh, so I, I don't think there's anything big in here, anything uh, that, that's going to take a whole lot of time to, to work out. But if we had a little bit more time, again, I'm not sure what the, the deadline is for this, but if there's any way we could have a little bit more time to visit uh, with the city attorney and, and, and some of our folks just kind of iron out those two things, would be much appreciated. this portion of it to be delayed until the, until the next meeting and I'm sure we could uh, take care of that without any problem. Thank you. Any questions for Mr. Mallett? Mr. Mallett, uh, I'm sorry, these are these are technical issues with... Just the way we do some of the bill collection and fee collection, uh, it's different than what we're doing now. Uh, there are some, uh, some issues with with uh, how we collect, collect the uh, delinquent accounts We've been doing that on their behalf. This puts it back on them. That's right. fine with us. We want to make sure that they're okay with it and that's what's intended. There's actually a place where it kind of conflicts and we're not really sure which direction we're supposed to go. Uh, there, we also have a portal where waste management can go in and actually make some changes. We just worry about collecting. We don't do as much of the, of, as much of the reset fees and adjustments. They do all that through the portal and whatever's due is what we collect. Some of this was kind of defer back to us where we have to actually put those fees on there, take them off. And, uh, you know, Mr. Smith may have done that with the intention that waste management doesn't get the next contract. You know, we may have to talk about that. Maybe what we have to do going forward, but for now that's not the way we've been doing it. And we'd like to stay with the way we've been doing it, if at all possible. Well, well okay. we did the contract based on what we thought would be the best interest of the citizens of the city of Russellville. The contract as far as who the next Holler is is not going to be negotiated. It just is what it is. But I guess we. Uh, I'm 
not, I'm not, can we do that? I mean, can we? Uh, well, we, we didn't write it on the anticipation that waste management would be the one. I understand that, but yeah. I mean, can we, can we hold off on the incorporating city port portion of it? I, I think we should do that until the we questions that they have yeah. meet muster all the way around. Also, uh, Mr. Malik came to me and talked about um, that the funding on this would go through from them to the city and then the city to the, to the hauler. And that kind of <coughs> puts another uh, individual, uh, that being the city's finance uh, folks, in the middle of, of uh, taking some action as well. So we may, we may want to look at that again a little more. Um, anything else for Mr. Mallet? Well, do we, I mean, shall we, should we, should we just maintain a separate contract? room for the time being. Uh, I mean, it really seems well, to me like the seems <laughs> to me like the city corp portion uh, and, and as we as we stand right now, City Corp and the City of Russell have a contract. That's you correct. Know, right? That's right. And so we can operate that way. We've got about uh, what, seven, six months? Yeah. Six months. Till so September. We, it seems to me like we can work that part out a lot easier than anything else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And we've got time. We can do the three readings. We've got time to do all of this if, you know, whatever. So, okay. Thank you. Uh, this presents in the form of a resolution. Is it resolution yes. or ordinance? It's resolution. Resolution, right. yeah. Uh, Don Osmond uh, has asked to speak in regard to this. So, Mr. Osmond. Thank you, Council. Mr. Mayor. Um, I'm, I am Don Osmond. We are here representing DC Trash <coughs> Service right here in Russellville and uh, Dwight Dacus. And Dwight had every intention of being here tonight, but due to a family emergency, was not able to make it. And he asked me to express his sincere apology for not being able to be here. Um, we would appreciate the opportunity to be able to place a bid with the state, with the city of Russellville um, on your Res on the residential solid waste and uh, as most of you are probably aware we are uh, centrally located right here in Russellville and our territory extends from Benton and Brown area all the way to the Oklahoma state line and so again we would appreciate very much the opportunity to be able to place a bid with the city. Thank you. Thank you Mr. Osmond. Anybody have any questions? Mr. Osmond. Okay. Thank you. Um, Mr. Wheatley, thank you, you asked. Uh, thank you, Mayor, members of council. Uh, I'm really here to speak on the last item on the agenda, but uh, my comments as far as the proposed uh, new contract, our company is reviewing it. would like to see the, the city ordinance on solid waste to make sure the way that we're currently operating is in compliance with that ordinance as well as our current contract. Because it, it does refer to that in the new proposed contract. I, think but that I, is what I do want to be called back on item number 11. Okay. I think that Thank is you. what we're doing. One of the things we are doing, Mr. Wheatley, is making certain that the, the ordinance and the contract uh, dovetail nicely. Isn't that correct, Mr. Smith? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, Okay, thank you. And Mr. Llewellyn. Good evening, Mayor, Council. I'm here on behalf tonight of the uh, West River Valley Regional Solid Waste Management District. Uh, I guess the best way to start this is I don't have no dog in the hunt as far as who hauls it, okay? It doesn't matter what such things that we do. <coughs> The city of Russellville is a part of the solid waste district. It's a nine county district. It goes from Moralton back to Van Buren and from Perryville back to Walden. Uh, we run a recycle center in Clarksville, Arkansas. In fact, when y'all's first contract went out, <coughs> the material started coming to us uh, because we're close. We didn't charge tipping fee. Y'all are in our district. We thought it was part of our duty to help y'all, okay? We 
during the contract, the, uh, the material started going to Little Rock. There was nothing we could do about it because there was nothing in the contract to prevent it from moving from our facility down there. All I'm here tonight is to ask that the material be brought to us. We'd like to see it put in the contract that y'all will help support the district because the district has helped support Russellville over the years with the drop-off centers, and education and recycling and stuff like that. We would just like to see that portion of the contract reworded where the material could be brought to Green Source Recycling, which is the district owned facility. Okay. Any questions of Mr. Llewellyn? Is there any monetary benefit for the hauler to take them to Little Rock? Take it to Little Rock? Uh, if they're, other than feeding their own system, I don't know how there would be because it's farther to go to Little Rock than this come Clark. We, we, we do, do, do we have, uh, we're not under some contract with West River Valley no, sir, District, are we? No, sir, you are not. Not in any shape or uh, I'm, I'm assuming that the, the decision to, to, to begin to take it to Little Rock was, was the hauler's decision based on the fact that they have a facility in Little Rock. Is that? Yes, sir. Uh, I believe it was. Mr. Allen, if I may for a second, is there any any uh, material that your facility cannot handle as far as a recycle program goes? Uh, the way the re recycle program is currently set up, no, sir. Uh, we helped set that portion up. It was asked of us what we could take at our facility. And uh, as far as I know, y'all don't take glass in your single stream here, correct? Well, that's what I was, that was my next question. Are you able to take glass? I can take it, but I do not take it in single stream. I would set up. What is single stream? Uh, single stream is what you pick up at your curb. Okay. That's what we consider it in, a, in this industry, is single stream. It's all mixed together. So if it was hauled to your facility, that would not be an option as far as residential pickup for recycles? As far as collecting glass inside the, uh -uh, no, sir. Outside of glass, is there anything else? Let's, let's go back to the, to the common term as a sold pizza box with, with grease on the bottom of it. Is your facility able to take that? Yes, sir, we do. Any other questions? All right. Thank you very much. So we do have a motion and a second uh, in consideration of this, and we've been asked uh, during the discussion to possibly delay this until next month to take action on it. Uh, would that motion be amended I to would, do yes, that? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Be amended to postpone it until next month. That'll require another meeting of the, of the Solid, Solid Waste, Waste Committee. Committee. Yes, sir. We have a second. So, so the, the motion is to table? Yeah, yes. Sir. I'll second that. Okay. So I'll, we're not going to bid it out? So this no, is this is the contract. This is the next item the down contract. the road. Yep. So it's not going to delay the process? No. Okay. No. All those in favor of that motion? Say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Thank you. <coughs>